now that the sun is rising later means it's dark when I'm supposed to be getting up in the morning and I'm having a hard time waking up. That means I have less time to get breakfast if I'm in a hurry and I need to get out the door. So that's when I'm really appreciative of having some granola bars in the refrigerator. And I'm gonna show you one of my favorite recipes. Easy to make, no bake, and it doesn't take a lot of time to mix them up. To start with, I am going to put some nut butter into a little pan because I'm gonna put it on the stove and melt it along with some maple syrup and some coconut oil. You can use any nut butter that you like. Right now I'm using cashew butter. I've used almond butter, that's good. You can use peanut butter. Whatever your favorite is, it will work. And I'm going to add did I say I have a half cup of nut butter in here? And then I'm going to put in one third cup of maple syrup and two tablespoons of coconut oil. The reason I'm using coconut oil in this is because when I get it all mixed up, pat it in the pan and put it in the refrigerator, the coconut oil is what's going to hold it together. So now I'm going to put this on the stove over a low heat and just stir it until it's all melted and I can blend it all together. I've got one and a half cups of mixed nuts and seeds. Today I've got slivered almonds, cashews, some raw sunflower seeds. I'm going to put those in my bowl. I did toast them a little bit in a pan on the stove. You don't have to do that, especially if you're in a hurry, but it does add a little bit of extra flavor when you toast those nuts a little bit. And then I've also toasted some shredded coconut, about half cup. So one and a half cups of nuts and seeds and about half cup of coconut. And I've also chopped up some dried apricots. The dried fruit is something that it's your option. You can use whatever kind of dried fruit you like, cranberries, raisins, dried cherries or blueberries, but I love dried apricots. So I've got those in the bowl with a little bit of cinnamon, about half teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. And I've got one tablespoon of chia seeds just because they're a good source of calcium and iron and fiber and omega-3 fatty acids, which is good for cardiovascular function. So I'm just gonna stir that up. So just put that right over the nuts and seeds and dried fruit. I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. That's the last ingredient. I'll just dump the sticky mixture into my parchment lined baking sheet. And then I'm gonna pat it down with just a flat bottom glass. You could use a measuring cup, just something flat. So you get it nice and smooth on the top. Put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour and then lift it out of your baking dish and you can cut it. These are just great for a grab and go breakfast. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> I hope you enjoy these. I'm Sue Doden, sharing good food for good life 365.